Okay, a farmer has 100 feet of fencing and wants to enclose two rectangular adjacent fields. Find the dimensions that maximize the enclosed area. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to look at uh, this diagram here. And you can see that, let's call these X and we'll call these dimensions Y. And we've got 100 feet of fencing, so what we're going to do is we're going to add up all these lengths of fencing, and that's going to be uh, representative of the, the total 100. So we're going to say 1, 2, 3, 4x plus 3y equals 100. So that's like our perimeter equation. And then our area equation is going to be uh, length times width or base times height. So this is going to be 2x times y. So we have area equals 2x times y. Now we want to maximize the area, but you see how we have two variables here, x and y? What we want to do, the key is to get everything in terms of one variable. And then what we can do is analyze it from there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rearrange this perimeter equation by solving for y. So to do that, let's subtract 4x from both sides. So we have 3y equals negative 4x plus 100. And let's divide everything by 3. <clears throat> so that gives us y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 100 divided by 3. So now we know what y equals. We can then substitute or put that in place of y here. So let's go ahead and do that. So area equals 2x, negative 4 thirds x plus 100 over 3. And now what we're going to do is we're going to distribute the 2x. And let's see what that gives us. So it's negative 8 thirds x squared plus 200 over 3x. Now, what you can see is we have the area in terms of x. And you notice that this a value, this uh, quantity in front of the x squared term, is negative. That tells us this, this is a uh, parabola that's opening downward. So if we were to graph this, and you can do this on your, on your graphing calculator or by hand if you want, it's going to look something like this. So here's your area in terms of x. So you can see we're looking for this point here that's going to maximize the area. Notice that's the vertex of this quadratic, the vertex of this parabola. And remember, to find the vertex, we use this formula negative b over 2a. So we've got a, b, c is 0. So the opposite of b would be negative 200 over 3 divided by 2 times a, so 2 times negative 8 thirds. Now simplify a little bit further. So this is negative 200 over 3. This is negative 16 over 3. If I multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3, that gives us negative 200 over negative 16. The two negatives cancel. And if we reduce that down, that comes out to, uh, let's see, 8 goes in here uh, twice, and 8 goes in here 25 times. So it's 25 over 2. So that means when x is uh, 12 and a half, that's going to maximize our area. But let's find out what the other dimension is, y. And I'm going to do that by putting this back in for x here. So we have y equals negative 4 thirds times 25 over 2 plus 100 over 3. So this comes out to negative 100 over 6. This, if I multiply the top and bottom by 2, is 200 over 6, which when we add those together gives us 100 over 6 or you could reduce that to 50 over 3. So that would be the y value. So the dimensions now are going to be x is uh, 25 over 2 and y equals 50 over 3. And that's going to give you the maximum area. If you want to see another video that I did uh, talking about optimization and working with quadratic uh, functions like this, go ahead and follow me over to the video right there and we'll show you another example.